now that we've decided to somewhat return from the scenes of of the scenes of youtube uh let me vlog this very proud moment yesterday i prayed uh, my mom is not home so she won't be able to help me with taking Gani to school so last night i prayed i was like god please wake me up at past four so i can do everything set up and we can be at school on time guess what god did god woke me up at 25 past four i bathed i brushed my teeth didn't eat breakfast but it's cool and you know i i i, I prepared the water for my son i did the most and right now the time is 6 38 it's 6 38 ish ish no comment it's 6 38 we withdrew money my son who is aligned with god realized good time my mommy agnes doing so time this captain so what did my son do he said he wants to put over for from school usually he doesn't but today he did ain't that god ain't that god you're the reason i'm feeling fresh every season it's time to sink easy you're on my mind you can see it. and it happens on payday but yo i won't lie when i uh withdrew the money i was scared i thought money wouldn't come out yo and then there's this girl called kumani kumani who doesn't want to sit in the car seat Kumani with the curly hair because wow kind of looks like there's a colony of ants making group meetings but anyways yes mother and son mother and children i'm so happy guys i'm happy when such things happen because really i'm seeing god's goodness and grace through the smallest things wow won't god do it won't god do it love you what would you sell if you want? Good morning. It's metro for me. Hey guys, so this is the end of today. It's the end of Thursday. Tuesday. It's the end of Tuesday. My glasses are like skew because Kumani because Kumani um, she always wanted to yeah be busy with my uni with this one okay but anyways there we go um yeah I'm just so happy about today God has really been faithful um the fact that I was on time for work and I woke up early I didn't run out of energy God really showed himself to me once again. He really showed himself to me. Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Special welcome if you're tuning in for the first time. And a mega welcome if you are a returning subscriber. I really appreciate your presence. And I appreciate you hitting the thumbs up button, which is right under this video. So today I figured that I would start with uh, get to know me because I've really been away for a long time Even my subscriber count started going down and I'm like, oh my gosh um, So yeah, I decided to do a get to know me tag Since the last one I did is actually, let me take these, I don't know if they're showing up properly Now you're seeing my bare eyes Okay, so since the last video, a get to know me video was the one I did back in 2021 you can imagine um yeah and i figured let us let us do another one because i've been away for a long time so the first question we're just gonna get right into it uh, the first question is what is your full name i'm reading the questions from my laptop so i'll keep looking up so it's what is your full name my names are busiwe jane mashangu and um Busiwe, obviously, hence Busi Jane. I didn't want to say Busiwe Jane, so my social media name is Busi Jane. It's both my names because I love, I love both my names. And then, what does your name mean? Uh, Busiwe means blessed in Zulu, and Jane is a Western name which means God is gracious. I think other people have different interpretations of the name, but the one that I've chose to stick with is God is gracious. And the next one is, are you named after anyone? I am named after my grandmother. Uh, Busiwe was is a name that also a cousin of mine has like yeah I think my mom could have done better <laughs> I'm joking I love my name because it's a good it's a prophetic name every time people people oh people people, people call my name <laughs> they will say blessed blessed and I have to respond so that means yeah I am blessed which is really amazing and um, 
yeah and jane is my grandmother's name my paternal grandmother's name and i'm so happy that i've got her name um, i feel i really feel special because of that um does your name make any interesting anagrams i have no idea what anagrams are if you had to change your first name what would you change it to well first of all i wouldn't change either of my names however i would change the order in which they are in because my initials are bj Mashamu and um, in my varsity years, I then got to know another meaning for BJ, and I was like, oh, but I still, like, it's my name, and I love my names, you know, so I think maybe if if my initial, if it was Jane, I think that actually makes more sense, Jane, was but you know, mothers always fight to have their names first in the birth certificate, um, of which I'm actually quite opposite, I've never fought for my names to be first in the birth certificate, however, there's one certificate that I'm going to change. <laughs> I'm going to change. Anyways, um, I mean, by, by certificate, I mean that of my children. Yeah. So, yeah. And then uh, you've got... Where are you from? I'm from Africa, guys. I'm from Africa. I mean, yes, I was born in Pretoria. I was born in Pretoria, and then I lived in Guandevele, Dufendenke. And then from Guandevele, grade one, I went to... Tembisa, which is in Kempton Park. I went to Creslon Primary School, and then grade two, I did in boarding school in Varambad Primary School, large school, I think. Um, and then grade three, I did in Marble Hall. Uh, grade one, I also did in Azulu School, actually. And then grade three, I did in Marble Hall. Then after grade three, grade four, I did in Middleburg, which is which then we finished our whole primary career in Middleburg, because then my mom had finally settled, and she had found a place for like all of us. So. In those other years, from grade one until grade three, I was living with other people, like relatives. And then grade four then started living with my mom full time. Yeah. Uh, where were you born? I was born in Pretoria, Calafong Hospital. Where did you grow up? I grew up everywhere. <laughs> I grew up in South Africa. <laughs> I grew up in South Africa. Who did you look up to growing up? I looked up to no one. I didn't have a role model. I don't think I did. Um, but I'll tell you in grade three, in grade two, I looked up to Aliyah. I looked up to Aliyah and somehow 2003 when she died, I thought she was my mom and I cried so much. Uh, my dad, my brother bought me a, cas a cassette, yeah, Aliyah and yo, it was, it was a tough time for me. <laughs> 2003 was a very tough time for me because I think that's when, um, she died from the plane crash. So yeah. By the way, we're in my classroom. I'm a teacher by profession. I forgot to mention that, but I'm sure you grabbed, you know, from the background. Um, yeah, and this is not, I don't know how my voice sounds, but uh, this is not my voice. I'm coming down with something. My body's trying to recover from something that's trying to gripple it. Ooh, and my laptop's trying to switch off. Uh, next question. What are your base characteristics? I think my base characteristics are that I love. I love, and when I love, I love genuinely. Um, I think my base characteristics are, what are characteristics? The way you are, Musne. Um, I love to make people laugh. I love, I love, I love it when people are happy. Um, I think maybe to some people I am funny. I just really think I, I speak my mind and people laugh. So I guess maybe I'm funny, so yeah. Uh, what are your favorite things about yourself? Favorite things about myself is that I, yo, I don't know, I don't know. I, I love that I love. I love that I love. And I love that I seek happiness and joy. Although, um, you know, when life crippled me in the COVID times, I think that's when my whole perception of loving love and loving life and always pursuing happiness, that's where it kind of changed because I went through life and nothing was cute. But um, I think generally because it is embedded, embedded, because it is embedded in me, I definitely love love and I love pursuing happiness. I deserve to be happy. I wasn't born to suffer. I wasn't born to suffer. <laughs> um, right. Which of your parents are you closest to? I'm closest to neither of my parents, actually. Um, I'm closest to neither of my parents um, because I didn't, they didn't like raise me, raise me. You know, maybe like from one until four, they raised me. But five going up, I was with other people. So I could definitely say the parent that I'm most closest to is God. It is God. <laughs> which of your parents are you, what? Which of your parents are you more like? I'm more like my dad. 
I am more like my dad. I'm more like, not even my dad. I'm more like my dad's side of the family, actually. Yeah, I'm more like my paternal side of the family. Are your grandparents still married? They were still married with my, um, both my paternal and um, maternal grandparents passed on. The women are the ones that stayed behind and now only my paternal grandmother is alive and I'm so grateful for that. Now, I am going to switch up to like the mom tag because I feel like that's more like, you know, things that are happening recently. So the first question is how old were you when you had your first child? Um, I was 22 when I had my, when I had my first child. Uh, Kumkani, I had him in 2016. Um, let's see, 2013, I was 19. So it's 19, 19, 20, 21, 22. So it's 2013, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, so I was 22 when I had Kumkani, which is my firstborn, my boy. Um, what was the hardest thing about being a parent for nine months? Um, I think... People not understanding you, people judging your parental skills as a new um, parent. Um, you know, oh, being pregnant. What was the hardest thing about being pregnant for nine months? The hardest thing about being pregnant for me was that I couldn't exercise. I couldn't exercise. My body didn't want to exercise. Um, I remember once when I stepped on a step, you know, exercise step from the gym, my literally felt like my ovaries were about to fall. I couldn't. It's so horrible. I, I just I just couldn't. Um, although I did actually walk from our hospital, from my home to the hospital in Middleburg when my mom was admitted, I just told myself, I'm going to walk and see my mom. I was not driving then because I was terrified of driving. I did not want to drive. Right. Would, um, can you think of any good things you enjoyed during those nine months? I think the only thing I enjoyed during the nine months was the friendship. Um, I think joy was specifically there for me he made my even my mom you know um but yeah you know the company that i kept my mom and joy they really joy is my friend um they really kept me cool you know they i mean they put me my favorite snacks your watermelon joy took me out to hobos um i think that's what i enjoyed because everything else was just hell <laughs> everything else was just bad for me but yeah i think the company that i kept and eventually the excitement of yo am i no i was i excited i wasn't i think i was still shocked and i think it's with every new mom but yeah in your opinion were all the things you heard about childbirth accurate or way off they were definitely accurate i did my research i made sure i did my research i made sure that i knew what uh, natural birth was because i only wanted a natural birth however i did not research on cesarean section cesarean uh, yeah and that was because, I mean, it has Western medicine. I didn't want anything Western in my body. But however, that is the turn in which we took. That's the direction things took in terms of the birth. Um, I was induced, but Gumgani still struggled to come out. And so then they, I had to go for an emergency C-section. It was horrible. Mm. Would you have handled childbirth differently if you could redo it? Certainly. I mean, there was nothing I could do. So I think that I would answer this in terms of I would have really loved to have a natural birth. I don't know what that would have done to my body. I don't know. But I think it would have been great to actually experience a full term natural birth because that, that was my desire. Right. What would be your advice for someone who is about to have a baby? Whether the circumstances are good or not. This is happening in your body. You need to make it joy. You need to make it joyous for yourself because no one else is going to experience the joy for you. You need to make sure that you experience the joy for yourself and so that you don't look back and regret how miserable you are because there are miserable times. Trust me, there are miserable times, but you need to combat that with this is happening in my body and God is trusting me with something so great and I want to enjoy this. So you need. I, need, I want you to have the desire the need to want to enjoy what's happening in your body it doesn't matter who's there and who's not there but you are there for the person who's in your tummy and they are going to be there for you someday so yeah that is what i was saying that is what i was saying what would be your advice okay i just read that 
what has been the hardest thing about being a mom? What has been the hardest thing about being a mom? I think just doing things on your own, you know? Um, it's either people assuming that you've got this or, like, you know, knowing that you don't have a choice. Like, you just need to start moving. Like, you know, um, that you're not going to be nursed. You're not going to, you know, the father's not there and all that kind of stuff. So, really, people who are married and their partners are very supportive, you are blessed beyond measure. Um, yo, like, I wish I had um, a stable partner, stable in the head and all of that. Um, yeah, but, I mean, everything happens the way it does because of our choices and I guess because of how, Jay, we are on Earth and Earth, <laughs> Satan is always roaming around seeking someone he may devour and people become devoured and then they start acting nonsensical. But, yeah, that's my opinion. Um, what was the most surprising thing you discovered about being a mom? I think, you know, extending grace. <laughs> I just found out how I can always start over. Being a mom, you start over literally every day. There's no holding things back and grudges. You start over when you are a mom literally every day. Right. Um, what is the best memory you have involving your child? I think the times Kumgane and I went out together, um, when we lived together, you know, it was just us against the world. And things were so perfect. I don't want to lie. Things were so perfect. I love my boy. Um, what habit did you wish your child didn't have? You're lying. Okay, maybe, let me not say lying, but I lie. Kumgani can get so creative. Like, you'll be like, can I tell you something? And I'm like, yeah. It's like, yesterday I saw this. And he creates these things in his mind. And I don't know psychologically where that comes from. But I think it's his desire. Like, they come from lack, maybe, in his life. You know, I think maybe those things come from lack in his life. And so he wants to create the life he wants. And he wants to visualize things that he wants or wishes could have happened. So, yeah. Uh, do you share any similarities with your child, both physical and personality? Uh, personality, apparently, um, whenever we visit my family, paternal family, they always tell me, hey, you know, look, you used to do this, you used to do this. And that has actually helped me gain more patience for Kumkani because I'm like, yo, my guy, you, I mean, I was you and they had to be patient with me. So now I have to be patient with you. So yeah, uh, physically, uh, he actually has like my dad's body structure. Like he's, you know, the things he does when he walks like this. It's so funny. It's all maternal, guys. It's all paternal, actually. It's hilarious. Where would you like your child to be in 10 years? In 10, in 10 years, Kumkani is going to be 18. He's going to be done with school in 10 years. And where I would like him to be in 10 years is where God wants him to be. And that's in a place where he will bring glory to God's name. And in 10 years, my baby girl is going to be in grade 5. And I would like her to get all these certificates at school and really do well. Oh my gosh, I love my baby girl. I love my baby girl. I love a baby girl, you guys. Describe your child in a single sentence. Gumkani, intellectual. Gumani, vibrant. Those are the two words I can use. Vibrant and intellectual. So, I think, I think we're going to park it there. I think we're going to park it there. Um, this is, yeah, I'm definitely going to park it there. Thank you so much. We've come to the end of the video. I hope that you've enjoyed it and you'll consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up, you know, uh, if you like the video. Thank you so, so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.